Now, 7 Weather with meteorologist Julie Dirk. Well, I hope you all had a wonderful weekend on this Monday, the first day of August. We are seeing a mix of sun and clouds out there. Cloud cover building in off the ocean with our wind flow moving in from the southeast. And that's also brought us some isolated showers on the radar. We stayed mostly dry throughout the morning, but now we are dealing with the rain throughout. Some of Broward, we are seeing some showers right over A1A over Oakland Park, Sea Ranch Lakes. Now this cell moved up over 595 and I-95, so the roadway still could be a bit wet if that's where you travel this morning. Also seeing some wet roadways on I-95 by Pompano Beach. We just saw from our traffic camera that there's some wet roadways right over 836. Portions of 836 by the Miami Airport also dealing with some light to moderate rain as well. Otherwise, we are dry. And by the afternoon, we are expecting the development of the sea breeze, and that will bring us some inland scattered showers and thunderstorms. So for the coastal areas, we're expecting a lot of sunshine and another hot day. Right now, it's 84 degrees in Miami, 82 in Fort Lauderdale, 85 in Key West. You're waking up to 83 in Pompano Beach, as well as Oakland Park and Hialeah. 81 in Pembroke Pines. Good morning to you in Kendall and Miccosukee. Temperatures are in the lower 80s. Once you factor in the relative humidity, though, feels like temperatures are in the lower 90s. Our winds moving in from the east-southeast, anywhere between 6 and 8 miles per hour. Let's talk tropics. We're watching an area just east of the Windward Islands. This is an area of low pressure. It looks as though it's becoming better organized on the color satellite on the last couple of frames. Plenty of available moisture to help this system intensify. The National Hurricane Center has Hurricane Hunter aircraft out there as we speak, and they're looking for that center of circulation. They've been basically investigating the system over the weekend and early this morning, but until they find that center of circulation, they are keeping it as a 90% chance of development and conditions are favorable for development. We'll continue to watch this as it stays over the very warm waters of the Atlantic, and it looks as though the models have it moving into the Caribbean, affecting portions of Hispaniola as well as Puerto Rico in the days to come. And then where it will go at the end of the week is what we're going to keep our eyes on. You can see the forecast models are not in agreement. Some have it moving right over the Bahamas. Some have it moving into the Gulf of Mexico, and some keep it east of the Bahamas. So this is all something we'll continue to watch. Back home here, though, the local forecast that will affect you today and tomorrow is a frontal boundary moving into the northern portions of Florida. Our wind flow will move in from the east southeast. It'll be hot. It'll be humid. We'll see inland showers and thunderstorms favoring Broward and Miami-Dade over the Everglades today. But by tomorrow, those showers and thunderstorms will push back into the metro and the coastal areas as that frontal boundary moves a little bit more south. Your marine forecast calls for a threat of rip currents. If you're headed to the beach doing any boating, the bay will be at a light chop. Free in the lower keys, no advisories. Near shore waters at a light chop. Highs today, 94. And then 92 for the coast. Lows will be in the upper 70s and lower 80s. It'll be another warm night. Chance of showers increases tomorrow and into Wednesday. And we'll keep that chance of showers, all depending on what goes on with that low just east of the Windward Islands by the end of the week. Have a wonderful Monday, South Florida.